right guys here's the deal here's the deal here I'll let you know what's going on uh, <clears throat> here's a new Springfield 1911 this is the loaded 1911 and uh, I'll let you know what load by what load it is okay I'm not real clear on it myself so I probably know half the information that there probably is about it okay here's the deal with the Beretta all you die hard Beretta guys I'm not saying um, I ain't saying nothing bad about Beretta I'm still going to get a Beretta that is on the list I got a bad one okay uh, I, it happens you know uh, there's there's people that are telling me oh I got Beretta I put 3,000 rounds through it it never jammed once then there's people that tell me I got a Beretta all it does is fuck up so Beretta's hit and miss yeah I know the military uses it and for the most part most of the troops that I've talked to ain't too crazy about the Berettas and then some of them say they're good but none of them are crazy about the Berettas okay that's not good uh, I don't know what to think um, I think I'm gonna give the Beretta another shot I, you know not now later down the road I think I'm gonna get the uh, the M9 and I think I'm gonna go stainless I got too many black guns I need another stainless so I'm gonna get I'll get the Beretta M9 stainless if I can find one and remember we're gonna give it another shot I'm gonna try it again because I know Berettas make awesome weapons their shotguns are fucking probably the most beautiful fucking things on the planet Okay, so they make really uh, great firearms. They're, they're, they're at the top, but I just got a bad one. I don't want it. I don't want it. I could see if it jammed twice. I'm like, okay, it's not clean. It's got to break in a little bit. I've had a gun before that done that, but when it jams, misfeeds, and then the slide don't stay back when it's supposed to, when and it's stove piping. Dude, you got a fucked up gun. That's, there's no breaking in. There's too many issues there. So it went right back and Target Master in Chadsford, Pennsylvania uh, gave me a full credit. And I, I actually had the gun that I ordered, the Springfield 1911, loaded 1911, parkerized. It looks a lot like the GI model, but it's nothing like it. Okay. So here it is. Okay, it's brand new, brand spanking new, it's the only way I go. Uh, you get the manual, uh, it, uh, the kit, you, the, usually uh, the cases are black, but this is a, a like a uh, blue case, it's pretty cool looking. Get a Springfield Army decal, which I don't have, I'm glad I got one. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Uh, and you get two magazines. Okay, let me go get the magazine. This other magazine. This is what you got to do. You know, the only Springfield, Springfield's the, probably the best gun company you could deal with. They're like Smith & Wesson. They back their shit up. But the only problem with Springfield is their, mag their magazines they give you are, are not very good. Let me show you what I mean. This is the magazine that comes with the gun. Okay. Now see how, see how the follower that has no support under here. Okay, has no, has no support under there. Well, that could cause a lot of, a lot of, like tilt this way and this way. See how it moves around a lot, and just it feels very, like see how it goes down and it hits the body of the magazine. You got to push it back, and make sure. I mean, you can have all kinds of problems with these, and you can't take them apart. They're all welded shut. They're real cheap magazines. This is what you want to get. You want to get a Kim Pro Tac Mag or a Chip McCormick or a Mechgar. If you get a Springfield, once you get this, you're going to have an awesome gun. The whole thing comes apart. I could take it out. The follower has is folded over, so it has support, and it goes up and down, nice and smooth. I mean, if you hear, I know this one's more broken than this, but this is really listen. It's it's shit. Okay, it's shit. So when you get a Springfield 1911, get yourself a Kim Pro Tech Mag. Uh, from experience, I can guarantee you, you'll love this one. Let's take the gun out. We're running out of time. Might have to do it in two parts. Here's the gun. I know it looks a lot like the GI model, but it is not. 
not. It's the same finish, that's all. Okay? This is very modern, this one. And if you're just looking at the serrations on the slide, you can see how it has a modern uh, modern look. Okay? Lowered ejection port, flared out ejection port, deep, nice deep serrations on the front, deep serrations on the back. Stainless steel or whatever aluminum uh, trigger, stainless steel barrel, which you guys know I love. Let's make sure the uh, gun's not loaded, which it ain't, it's brand new. Okay, gonna... nothing in the pistol. Okay, stainless steel barrel, full length guide spring rod. Really, a real nice crisp trigger pull. More crisp than my GI model. Uh, does it have an extended magazine release? It don't look like an extended one. But this is supposed to be loaded, so it might be. It don't look extended to me. Uh, it's got ambidextrous thumb safeties on both sides. And the, the grips are absolutely beautiful grips on there. You know, the grips, you know how I am with grips. I'm always changing my grips. These grips ain't going nowhere. I wish I could find these grips and put on my GI model. Right. The GI model is another issue. I want to talk about that in a minute. Okay, but it has the ambidextrous thumb safety, so uh, these grips ain't going nowhere. They they make the whole gun look good, I think. Uh, you have the Springfield uh, cross cannons marked there. That looks really nice. Uh, you know, it's nice deep uh, machining and stamping's good. You know, and another thing, it ha this has night sights. Okay, this pistol has night sights. It's got an extended beaver tail safety. You can tell it's extended, tell us by looking at it, okay? Uh, it has a beveled magazine well, okay? Uh, something else I could say. I was hope uh, the only thing different about this than other 1911s is, <clears throat> with this particular 1911, you need an Allen key to take out. This is the takedown the takedown plug for the, uh, you know, for the um, the recoil spring. Uh, I, I've never used this yet. I've never taken one down yet. But this takes an Allen key. You got to unscrew it. Uh, I guess there's a different little step there. I got to check it. Check it out. I got to look at the instructions. Then I'll do a takedown video on it. So this 1911 is just a little bit different than your average 1911. It's got that. Uh, Allen key takedown tab in there. Uh, night sights, like I said, uh, skeletonized hammer or a combat hammer, whatever you want to call it. It's really uh, hollowed out, a little more, you know, extended beaver tail, comes out nice. It's a beautiful fucking 1911, man. I ordered this and they said it would take eight months and they happened to get it in quick. And just as the Beretta was acting up, we put all the money from the Beretta to this, and I had to come up with just a little more money because it's more expensive than the Beretta. And then uh, I came through. All right, remember we'll put the Kim Pro Tac mag in there. Okay, now I got a good magazine in there. I don't know if I like the floor plate or not. I don't know. Okay, locks back very nicely. I'm loving it, man. Beautiful. Nice crisp trigger pull, man. Feels about maybe maybe three pounds. Maybe. Feels like the uh, Smith & Wesson I got. Real touchy trigger pull. So that's it. That's, that's, that's all I can say for now. Now until I find out more about it. I am new, this is new to me. You know. But uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay. You get your Allen key tool. You get some safety key locks and there's the magazine that's going to be used with it okay that's it man i'll see you guys talk to you guys soon man